A local mom and dad are speaking out after they say their son was badly hurt in a freak accident at his workplace. The Seymour man was flown to the hospital in the Milwaukee area with a traumatic brain injury and is now in a coma. Katie Shiro went to Wauwatosa to talk to his family who says he has a long road to recovery ahead. When I pulled up to the garage, she told she told, turned me around and told me to go right to the fire station that Eagle 3 was landing. Becky Rose Merrick describes when she got the call, her 18 year old son, Max, was involved in a workplace accident at Dan's Tire in Seymour. That's a mother's worst nightmare to get those kind of that kind of news was just absolutely terrible. She tells me Max was at work when the accident happened. He was using machine and working with a tire when it popped off the rim. The rim hit him in the head and crushed his skull. She also told me that Max had big plans. He had just finished his senior year at Seymour High School and was set to go to Fox Valley Technical College in the fall to be a mechanic and has a love for cars. We knew he was really into it when he said he wanted to skip an art class and go to the transportation class. Now he's in a hospital bed at Freighter Hospital in Wauwatosa in a coma with the possibility of never walking or talking again. She says the recovery could take up to a year and though he's already had surgeries, the future remains uncertain. As medical and travel expenses pile up, a family friend has stepped in to start a GoFundMe page, currently with a goal of $20,000. Max's dad, Dean, says he's very thankful for the community's support. Friends, family, people that we don't even know that just are praying for us and wanting to know who Max is. I mean, it was just awesome feeling and we're just trying to take that support in. People have even began using the hashtag Max Strong and selling shirts to raise more money. Becky says seeing the community come together and care has helped her family find strength and be Max Strong during the long road to recovery. Max has a huge heart. He loves everybody. It's just we want him back home. You can find Max's GoFundMe donation page on our website NBC26.com. In Wauwatosa, Katie Shiro, NBC.